Hey everybody, it's Friday, November the 4th, 2022. Currently me and Liz Kitley, the Liz Kitley, 66 Summerfield, North Carolina. <laughs> we are sitting in Han Film Room. This is where we watch our film. And we thought what better way to start our first ever episode for Queens of the Castle than in the place where all the magic happens. Yeah, we uh, watch a lot of basketball in here. Um, and you guys watch us play basketball a lot, but we kind of wanted to let you guys get to know us a little bit deeper than that and get to know our personalities and all that. And you can just watch our arguments and our banter that you never asked for, but we're here to provide. Yeah, we feel like a lot of the interviews we do sometimes are super structured. So this is just a really good way to connect personally with you guys, but you guys are just gonna be a little fly on the wall sometimes with us. So speaking of fly on the wall, it was Halloween this past weekend. Do you wanna let us know about your Halloween costume? Yeah, it was super underwhelming. Um, I think I'm just really cheap and I didn't want to spend any money because I knew I wasn't going to leave our apartment, you know, so I couldn't really rationalize that. So I was basically just a hippie. Um, and by hippie, that basically means I just wore really wide leg jeans and I put braids in my hair. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think it would have been sold if the braids weren't in the hair. I know. I, ha I had to add the braids because otherwise it was just another Saturday. <laughs> there was really nothing going on. But. All right. Well, I was an Eshe. And for anyone who is not native to my motherland, <laughs> an Eshe by definition is a member of an Australian youth subculture favoring sportswear and electronic dance music. To anyone that knows me knows that that is me to a T. So I just had to put a costume on and had to pretend that I was an Eshe. Um, you looked pretty good. Thanks. I think people who looked better were Maddie and Tiso. Maddie and Tiso looked great. Um, I just want to apologize to all the hunters in the Blacksburg, the New River Valley community, because if you are going to Walmart looking for any sort of camo or what they have, the eye black. Yep. Yeah, it's not going to be there anymore because they basically raided all of the aisles. And you know what's worse is that they're still wearing it. You know what? Yeah. Also, apologies to the children because they took all the Nerf guns. <laughs> they did. And they brought them to our apartment. And we still have bullets. We saw No. And Winnie, if in case you didn't know, George has a dog at our apartment. And poor Winnie, I woke up last night at 2 a.m. She's chewing on a Nerf bullet. <laughs> I had to get up, take it out of her mouth and throw it away. All right. Well, since Halloween is over now, we have turned the page. We are going into the season, which means that we have survived preseason and summer workouts. So... Mm -hmm. Liz, <laughs> what are some of the moments that stuck out from preseason or summer? Oh, gosh. Um, I think, you know, this being my fourth go round, um, body's not feeling super 100% all the time, but I think that just comes with it. Um, but finally, you know, getting to see that, you know, we have a game on Monday, it's, it's in sight. Uh, it just lets me know that everything is worth it, all the pain, all the ice baths, all the rehab. Um, I'm really excited for that. And obviously this new team is really good and we're definitely ready to play some other people besides each other Yeah. and our practice guys. Yeah, I mean, time goes fast when you're having fun. And I think compared to other other preseasons, like this one flew fast. So it did, yeah. I'm really excited to play with the new girls and I'm just looking forward. Like Monday can't come soon, soon enough. Yeah. Um, so not only will we be talking about our season, like the ups and downs and everything, but we will be having some repetitive segments from our everyday lives, um, on and off the court. So Liz, do you want to introduce the first segment? Sure. Um, I thought it'd be a great idea. This would give me an excuse to finally come to Georgia with the, uh, reasons I don't like living with her, but I'm just going to call it the roommate report card so that, you know, it's more of like a constructive criticism. I'm not just getting on to you. Yeah. Um, but I thought it would be nice if we like said one nice thing about living with each other first, just so that we don't, you know, chop Bye. each other's heads off or like have to cut off camera for a little bit. Um, yeah. So one thing I would say, you definitely are a great cook. So when you decide to actually cook the, you know, once every month or so, it's mm -hmm. really delicious. And I appreciate it a lot. She's mm -hmm. very talented at that. Don't you think? Now I'm ready for the. No, <laughs> it's just the thing that like. <laughs> I'm, I'm really convinced that she fakes sleeping so that she doesn't have to take Winnie out. Like, poor Winnie girl. I mean, she has to go to the bathroom like every three hours in the middle of the night. And God, she scratches. We're going to have to replace the door by the time we move out. Our security deposit is not coming back because Winnie will just rake and rake at that door and claw to try to get it open. And I'm really convinced that Georgia... I think that you fake that you're asleep. I come around you don't to have it. To take her out. I come around to but it. But are you faking? No. 
you're actually asleep that long. Yeah. You don't hear her knocking at the door. I will by the fifth. By the fifth time. Yeah. Yeah, I wake up at the first time immediately. Okay, well, But it, it's fine. It's fine. She's really cute. And, I, you know, I just... it's She's worth it. She, she I can take her out sometimes. It. I definitely need to help. I'm not ready for what you have to say. <laughs> I'm really yeah, scared. I was just going to say, like, uh, I... You really do a lot. You She can't handle mess. So if there's like a little, which is a good thing, she'll clean it up. And she won't ever like make me feel bad for like maybe leaving like. We have that cute little device where we put it over the sink and like you can dry it by hanging it on there. She won't ever like get mad if I put like the pan away or something like that while it's drying. Yeah. The one thing I am firmly like in belief about is like leftovers. <laughs> shouldn't be in the fridge for too long they're leftovers for a reason no this I, woman I will leave leftovers in the fridge and like try and consume it to the point where it's like almost not consumable it's not th- no no we have a disagreement about this because she won't eat any leftovers and i have a thing against wasting food i, I feel like a lot of people would get that i don't want to okay. waste food well, no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if something is one day old you can still eat it like she just wants to throw it away and i don't eat it after it smells weird or anything mm. like that you disagree I think we should move on to our next segment. Um, <laughs> we'll save more for later. You'll get more of that. More of it. Um, anyways, our next segment. We thought it would be cute and innocent to have a uh, freshman flop. Mm-hmm. Um, in this segment, we will be... There's three freshmen on our team. Bless their cute little hearts. Mm-hmm. Um, they flop sometimes. They really do. They make some mistakes. They say some things that, that are don't just... don't make sense. No. Or just not the right time. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, so yesterday... We Coach Brooks has this thing where he like wants to make T-shirts, and he thinks for some reason that we'll have good slogan ideas, which I think this uh, example just shows that we don't. Um, poor Maddie, little baby, she's been here for like four months. Four I mean, months. <laughs> but her slogan that she came up with was "Fly Together," mm. and I just want to say, I just ask, ask, ask you guys, the yeah, have you guys ever seen a hokey bird fly? Like, I'm confused as to what she was referencing. Um, are we just flying together, like? off the basketball court like the hokey like it just doesn't really make much sense i don't know and i don't i don't ever want to like play down on hokey birds abilities obviously right, we right. are hokies we are we proud of the school yeah. can achieve anything but i've just never seen the mascot gather some air it would it would just be like an interesting t-shirt you it, know? Would it, be. it would it would raise a lot of questions but then also it would be copyrighted because i've definitely been to dicks and i've definitely seen that nike t-shirt that says fly as one you know what I think she's just seen that before. Probably. <laughs> we'll forgive her. It. We'll forgive her for that, but we're not forgiving uh, Carly for this. Yeah. We were scrimmaging, and Carly is a freshman. How tall is she? She's got to be like 5'11". 5'11". She's pushing six foot, honestly. She's a she's a decently tall girl. She's tall, but she's very fri- fri- frail. She's quite thin. Tiny, tiny. Um, and me and KT, respectively, I think I'm taller than KT, but the roster might not say that. George is like 5'5". Five, five. KT's like 5'7", maybe. Okay, I'm 5'6". She's 5'8". But sure. Anyways, we both went up for a rebound, and Carly went up for a rebound too. And just imagine Katie on the left, Carly in the middle, Georgia on the right, sandwiched the living daylights out of Carly. <laughs> and she has just fallen on the ground, and she took a while to get up. I think she was drooling a little bit, like, on yeah. the ground. She couldn't get up. <laughs> she couldn't get up. But honestly, that was kind of like a, a welcome to welcome to the Women's League, and I think we've all been in that situation It was before. a bit of a wake-up call. It was. Yeah. So. And you know what? I saw her hit the weights. She, yeah, she's been pushing it in the weight room. For she's sure. Really that was motivation. Swole. Yeah. Okay, another one of our segments is going to be a song of the locker room. So since we're doing this on a weekly basis, there are going to be songs that we listen to every week. Yeah. Our music tastes are obviously very different. Very different. Um, mm-hmm. She loves Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. I love house music. <laughs> Probably not an in-between. Um, yeah. Um, you, yeah. You basically stole mine, yeah. My, mine, it's going to be really hard for me to come up with a song of the week because I basically listen to the, t- the same Taylor Swift albums on repeat. But I think Georgia can carry this segment. But I, I can come up with a new um, era of Taylor Swift that I'll have every week probably. Yeah. So you don't have a singular song for the week? I mean, I have Midnight's on Shuffle. Yeah, but like a singular song from that. F- for right now? I, I do. I, I would say it was it is questioned right now. That okay. is like one that I cannot it, get out of my head. It's just always there. Okay. Well, mine, 100% for this week. Game week is in – game day is what? Three days? Yeah. And to Sandman. On repeat. You are such a kiss. Till the tip-off, that'll be in my brain. And for the rest of the season. 
Okay, and a final segment. Um, we are student athletes. We don't just spend 24 hours in the practice facility or castle. We do go to class. We do walk around campus. So this segment will be called Chaos on Campus and practically just describing chaotic events that we've experienced through the week. Mm -hmm. um, now I take the bus. <laughs> Liz has a car. <laughs> So I was on the bus and I got off the bus and it was kind of like a wet day. It wasn't raining, but it had rained. And I had uh, looked down at the person in front of me. Imagine Birkenstocks. For those who don't know what Birkenstocks are, they're like open-toed sandals. Yeah. So it was a Birkenstock, no socks. The, the sweatpants, or as I would call them, trackies, had been dragging along the wet ground. So this this guy was walking in like wet Birkenstocks with wet bottom of the sweatpants and was like completely unfazed by it you know what what time was it it was in the morning it was like 9 30 exactly he probably just woke up he probably was playing call of duty until like 3 a.m probably but he's also walked to the bus stop and to class so i know his trackies have been soaking wet for like but what was he supposed to do turn around roll them up wear some socks You're right D the walk socks. on the path yeah okay i'm just trying to find some rationale that would make sense yeah Fair enough. Do you have any chaotic experiences? I'm very, I'm very blessed to have a parking pass in a car. Yeah. I would say I think I miss out on a lot of experiences because I don't ride the bus. But I feel like the one experience that you experience that I don't experience, <laughs> finding a car park. You know, that's a conversation for a whole other day if you want to get me riled up. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. This is why the, I've been pretty yeah. lucky recently. Like people have been pulling out when I get there, yeah. which I cannot complain about. Yeah, you have been lucky. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, this was just a brief introduction into what you guys would expect uh, for our podcast for the rest of the season. Um, not only is it a great way for us to just sit here and chat to you guys, it's just a good reminder for us, as Coach Brooks would say, to stop and smell the roses, yeah. um, reflect on our weeks, not only basketball, but on campus, and obviously have an opportunity to take stabs at each other um, <laughs> for being roommates. Yeah, I am. Um... I'm I'm really excited about this. I think we're both pretty passionate about it and excited to just let you guys get to know us more on a deeper level and really um, learn more about each other probably too yeah. in the process. I mean, this will be a weekly podcast, so I'm sure the stuff you find out about us will be plentiful. <laughs> you could probably write an autobiography on us by the time this ends. I'm um, a little scared if I'm being honest. Why? But more excited. What you're going to out me for? Mm, no. no. Well, I'm excited. Um, we obviously cannot do this without you guys' support. And speaking of support, Coach Brooks this season has sold the most tickets in what? History? Season tickets. Season yeah. tickets in history. Of the program, which, I think. Yeah, yeah. Is insane. And we cannot wait to up them more. Hint, hint. Yeah. So please come out and support. Uh, we have a really, really good team this year. And obviously, Coach Brooks has only trended upward every year so we cannot wait to see what not only we can do but to see you guys come along yeah and along with a really good team we have a really good schedule so if you guys come we promise we will entertain you absolutely so yeah thank well well yeah thank you guys for listening this week and we hope to see you next week after the games have been played um we'll put you in on that but yeah i'm liz i'm Giorgio. and we're <laughs> queens of the castle <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>